Welcome everybody to the Satius News Network. We're gonna be covering everything from weeb and anime <laughs> interested news, as well as gaming, maybe a little bit of memes here and there. Because both those things go together like pumpkin lattes and soccer moms. So let's get into it. First news on the docket. We are gonna be covering this new murder <laughs> headset made by some weeb, of course, because only only uh, sick and deranged people like us can come up with something like this. But apparently, the VR headset will kill will kill you if you die in the game of Sword Art Online. Gotta admit, I wouldn't have thought of something like that myself, but I'm glad there's a lot of entrepreneurs out there who really want to give people the anime protagonist experience, living life on the edge. And uh, yeah, does something like this need to be made? Does it have any uses? Will anybody get anything other than this? And is it, will it actually probably hurt a lot of dumb people? Yes, all of that, to all of that. This definitely need to be made, and I'm glad that we have this out here. We're doing good causes, and whoever puts this on deserves it. All right, next part of the news. We're gonna be going over what is in new anime releases. We got a confirmation of that time I got reincarnated as a snail. Third season's coming out. Pretty stoked about it. Um, I like it. It's kind of like something I could put in the background and kind of half watch. I still enjoy it a lot. I just like seeing the evolution. That's mostly what I really like about it. But it's not a must see for anybody, to be honest. It's definitely entertaining. I would enjoyed it, but I would understand if it's not everyone's cup of tea. It's very, um, very weeby. So, you know, depends on your first taste. I liked it. Hopefully you did too. Next. Thing on the docket we're shooting it out we are going hard next thing was the one piece film red that came out and it was actually pretty dope as you can see the reviews are in it's doing pretty well now are these a pretty biased considering most of the people who are going to leave a review are also one piece fans and if you've gone this deep chances are you spent the hours <laughs> to be caught up in the lore to this point i mean yes and uh, did i enjoy it absolutely would i recommend it that's a hard one if you've watched it if you like one piece yes if you don't yeah no don't watch it <laughs> how could i recommend it to, i'm sorry how could i recommend it to anybody now did i have a couple drinks before the before the premiere yes does that change my idea of whether or not i thought it would be good yes no it was good and i might do a review on it later and why i thought it was so but definitely you know treat yourself out get yourself a nice imax ticket some big old popcorn or stream it illegally just kidding don't do that don't do that don't do that please god i didn't say that so apparently due to chinese censorship some things are heavily 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 censored in china because their moderation team is absolutely insane. If you ever want to know how World of Warcraft looks in China, I'm not a big World of Warcraft fan at all, but the th everything is almost removed in China that remo remotely looks like death. I'm sure there's other pretty crazy examples of that, but one funny thing <laughs> in the pursuit of censorship, which we all love on the internet, and there's plenty of it, so obviously we must love it, is um, this anime that got censored. <laughs> now you tell me, if if you if it's not less traumatizing to see a puddle of toothpaste toothpaste as opposed to the blood there which one's the better um which one is which one do you see, want little timmy to see or should be more traumatized these two two school children covered in toothpaste or blood here all right i'm just saying i don't know if timmy needs to know about this yet you know i mean how old when is a but you know i guess we all gotta learn some point, you know? Sometimes you want Ohaki Minuke or whatever the, the anime might be called to teach him about that. And that's okay, you know? That's your parenting style. Who am I to judge you? Now, other news, Chainsaw Man is absolutely, absolutely just, well, Chainsaw Man released in the last couple of weeks and it is doing really well. I, I'm very happy about that. I'm enjoying it thoroughly as a Chainsaw Man. Um, I am very glad that they've kept it pretty close to the source and everything feels very, very well done. Animation's very slick. Uh, reviews are in. Obviously, it's gonna kill. I mean, let's look at these. I mean, it's not really a surprise. Obviously, 8.9, 100%. Score, I'm not sure what this is about. I'm surprised this is a little bit lower, but I mean, I've enjoyed it. I might do a review of that once that ends, but absolutely 
really like it and the quirky nature of um the creator um really comes through for a lot of it and you can kind of get a sense of his love for media and everything and one of the really cool things they did that i just want to go over just like his little side he uh, there was like the opening is a reference to a lot of full films and this shows like it, i think they did a really good job kind of um good stuff definitely watch this i don't want to ruin it all I'll go through it right now but it is amazing um it definitely captures like he, the creator's love for movies and cinema and it in the manga if you pay attention a lot of it actually does show that so it's cool that it's even coming through even in the opening it captures the crazy nature and um just interesting world that um he creates very stylistic and um very different and yeah i mean he, he notices what makes his show, his manga really good is that he notices a lot of things in media and he tries to give his own spin or quirky idea of that. And it shows a hundred percent. I know I'm saying the same thing, but absolutely love the, the anime manga. So good stuff right there. Good stuff right there. We're doing good so far. And one of the last pieces of news that we're going to get through, there is a, there's a little bit of me in meme news. <laughs> Let's go there. Let's say this. This is a meme news we got today. All right. <clears throat> McDonald's. Good old McFresh McDonald's. Nobody's too good for McDonald's, okay? They released a gaming chair. And when I say that this thing is the ultimate gaming chair, I'm not lying, all right? Not at all. Absolutely not. So we're gonna go into it. This is the... <laughs> McDonald's is releasing a gaming chair called the McCrispy. The chair includes a hot box to keep you, keep you warm while you're gaming. And uh, if you want to take a look at this monstrosity, <laughs> it definitely reflects us dirty, degenerate gamers in our natural habitat. I'm glad we have a McChicken, a McNuggy, a Mc... <laughs> Chicken Tendy loving chair that we all deserve. As a fellow gaming enthusiast, I'm very happy. Look at all the features of things is. I could sell this myself. Get me on the news team. The amazing features of the McCrispy Ultimate Gaming Chair. A fries holder, a drink holder, di two dip holders, <laughs> a hot box to keep your McCrispy warm while gaming, a built-in napkin holder, and two reusable napkins for McCrispy branding. A stay-proof leather treatment so you can enjoy your McCrispy in peace. Modular armrest allows the user to swap McCrispy to different sides. Now here's what I think might happen, if anybody thought about this. But there's something called a pee pocket. And a lot of people put it in the microwave <laughs> before using it. Um, so hypothetically, hypothetically, follow me here. If you put the pee pocket in the box and it warms it up for you and you can switch arms, I'm just saying the science makes itself, okay? If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. You're just switching sides. And you know, as a gamer, here's the crazy poop. It's stain-proof leather. So even if you stain the chair with yourself, um, you know, dropping the crispy, of course, it'll be covered. So not only are you going to be able to eat a McChicken and switch sides with a pretty pocket, <laughs> you will get no stains. No, no, no real judgment or any, any um, leftover scenes of the crime or, you know, no leftover stains of guilt to make yourself feel bad the day after. Absolutely 10 out of 10 product. I'd recommend to every woman, man, and consumer of the Mc, McLovins, such as myself, going forward. So yeah. That is it for Gracious News Network. Please send me other anime and gaming news. Happy to look them over and talk them about it with you. I'm excited for Chainsaw Man. It's been great so far. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I love you guys. I will see you again next episode. I swear it on all that is God or no, not God. I mean, all that is anime and gaming. See you guys later. Love you. Bye.